Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me the new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 mobile phone and in this video I am going to show you 7 different ways to take a screenshot on your Z Flip 4. So guys, the first method is by using this power key and volume down button and pressing them together to take the screenshot. So I just press them together so you will see it will take the screenshot okay so you can see now it take the screenshot now if you want you can also edit it you can scroll it you can write on it if you want to write so this is the first method the second method is by using the flex mode panel option so for example i open any app let's say i open this chrome and i want to take a screenshot okay so now what i can do i will just fold my phone like this okay so you can see once i fold my phone this app will go into the first half of the screen okay like this okay now for example i want to take this screenshot what i can do is at the bottom i have all the tools so here we have the screenshot tool also available so now i will press this screenshot tool and now you can see it take the screenshot for me and now if you want you can open it you can edit it as well the next method is by using your palm swipe so you can palm swipe like this or you can palm swipe towards the right so it will take the screenshot for you so you can open any app okay and then if you want to take the screenshot you can just palm swipe and it will take the screenshot for you the next method is by using the edge panel so i take out this edge panel tray from here okay and if i scroll you will see i have this tool available over here it says take screenshot okay so you can see over here just select it and it will take the screenshot for you so how to enable uh, this panel into your edge panel option simply you can just go into the settings then go into the display okay here is the display option and then go into the edge panel option so here i have this edge panel just select it so once you select it here you see this option of panels so once you enter into this panels option you will see this option of tasks okay if it is disabled like this you have to enable it and it will appear in your edge panel so if you just scroll okay you see this option of task and here you have the take screenshot option the next method is by using this assistive menu okay so if you just select it so here it will open the menu and here you can see this screenshot option just select it and it will take the screenshot for you so how to enable this assistive menu okay so first of all you have to go into the settings once you enter into the settings you see this option of accessibility just select it once you select it here you see this option of interaction and dexterity just select it once you select it here you see this option of assistant menu just select it so for example if it is off okay so i will off it if it is off you have to turn it on and it will ask you uh, to allow it you just allow it and turn off one handed mode you just turn off and this assistive menu will appear on your screen okay so wherever you go even if you open any app so this assistive menu will be here with you so you just use it and take the screenshot the next method is about scrolling screenshot so for example i open a web page and the web page is very long and i want to take the screenshot for this whole page okay so how to do it so just use uh, this uh, side key and volume down key just press them together okay so once you press them together you will see an icon over here it's like arrow icon okay so you can just see over here you just have to keep pressing it and it will start taking the screenshot for the whole page and it will also show you over here okay so you can see over here i'm just scrolling it and it will also taking the screenshot okay so you can see so i just move it okay and okay so you can see over here i will take the screenshot for the whole page okay so here you can see over here okay so i will take it till here okay so you can see it is a very long screenshot okay now if i open it i just press it like this and i open it so this is how it looks like 
okay so you can see it take the screenshot for the whole page okay and then you can zoom it okay so you can see over here so this is how you can take the scrolling screenshot the next method is using the cover screen so if you want to take the screenshot for the cover screen okay so you have some kind of uh, video or uh, you have some notification and you want to take the screenshot so what you can do is you can use this uh, side key this power key and now you have to use this volume up key because once you fold it it will work as now volume down key but in actual it is the volume up key so what you can do is you can just take the screenshot by pressing these two buttons together okay so you can see so it take this screenshot so you can see if i press the side key and volume up key together it will take the screenshot so for example i turn it on and here you can see it take the screenshot and you can access it through your gallery so for example if i go to my gallery and then i will show you over here so here you can see here is the screenshot so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please subscribe to my channel thank you very much